emotions it, well, like I said in court it's not my goal to hurt anybody it's not my goal to be facetious to anybody um, actually my mother <laughs> if she were alive today she wouldn't be happy with the message I left but what brought us to that is something that you know I think the judge was the only one that was sympathetic and yeah, I just wrote down a couple of things I like to go over. Yeah, my faults, first off, you know, I shouldn't have a sharp tongue, but I feel so defenseless because, I mean, Miss Mina, the first week, the first time we talked was Monday when all that happened, and you were very nice, and we had that whole week. We had a great conversation from Monday to Monday. When I called you Monday morning to let you know about the tires, so I never had to call you. But I mean, it's like this: these cups. You fill these cups up, and you got you telling me about the drug abuse and everything else, and all this because I had no knowledge of it. And you told me Alana's possible sexual abuse, and all this, and you know, I'm normal too. And if you have all these cups filled up and you try to pour it in this cup, it's going to overflow. And that's where my fault lies because I wasn't able, I guess maybe it isn't a fault, but there was a lot to absorb that first week. Period. I mean, when you told me about the sexual abuse and, well, we're going to put that on the back burner for now. We have the Marshy, then, you know, I'm glad. You know, Marcia got her foot broke. We can come in and take care of this. You remember saying that to me? That, that you were telling me in context what it was, was that y'all had been investigating her from September. So when that fight ensued and all that happened, that was where you had something tangible, I guess, to get involved and take action. You don't remember saying that? Okay. Um, 
Now, and in the very beginning, did I not tell you that this was not the Marcy that I knew, that she was a great mom? And all, I mean, you know, and it was. I mean, she, this stuff didn't happen in North Carolina. There were no drugs, there were no nothing. She had sexual abuse, and that's what went wrong. That's where our problem was. And, yes, ma'am. No, 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 you called me earlier because you wanted to call me. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Christina, um, look, I, I'm with Miss, uh, Miss Mina right now going over a few things, so I have everything to uh, uh, take back to North Carolina to get this thing taken care of. Um, I'll, I'll give you a call. You guys driving safe? Okay. Well, I'll, I'll talk to you in a little bit. You, you guys be careful. So I understand your concern where you're coming from. You yeah, oh no, I, what, what, I, what I just wanted to explain, I just, I just wanted to apologize for, you know, to Miss O'Neill and everything else. I mean, this is the Dominic's therapist. Miss Alexa, I've just met you. Mrs. Rumor's good. That's I'm fine. sorry. Thank you. Well, I'm from the South. <laughs> okay. um, that's me and Dominic, and that's in August of 09. You know, that a picture paints a thousand words. That is not a son that doesn't want to be with his dad and doesn't want his dad. And that's where my concerns are. And I'm, what I'm trying to do is give you a little bit more insight where my ballistic head is coming from. All right. A therapists go to school and and everybody has training and everybody has an education but sometimes I think we can all agree life is the best teacher whatsoever at seven years old and this is why I got very frustrated with Mr. Varga because he was not I mean that day in court the judge was like what do you mean I'm like no, no. but at seven years old my mother got caught into a thing with the mafia. She wasn't in tight, but we were placed in the witness protection program. Very first family, 1971. They separated me and my father. So I know what it's like to be seven years old, taken away from your dad with no explanation and the thoughts that I had. And I, it pain, it kills me that my son is going through that. So what I would like to do is make a suggestion, maybe with his therapy, he can write a letter explaining, you know, instead of the separation, maybe some of the reunification. That's all I'm asking for. Now, with the, uh, the mental therapist, what exactly, if I can get it in detail, because the last time I went to therapy, they said, well, she didn't have all the information. 
Is you, are you going to supply the information once I get the person that's going to do the screening and you say in specifics what they want? This is because something that I already spoke to Mr. Varga about, and I understand he is not your, your um, attorney at this moment. So our recommendation would be to definitely obtain who your new attorney is going to be so like that we can actually continue to communicate as well. But definitely... It, we would like to obtain a release of information from you because normally when we do make a referral for either any substance abuse assessments, mental health assessments, or even domestic violence assessments, we need to inform, hey, this is this is some of what the history of what we've obtained, right. this is what's been reported, and therefore, in order for you to make an, an appropriate assessment, they, they're going to need that actual history. So the only way that we would be able to do that is if we actually obtain a release of information. Okay, well, I've signed the releases, you know. And I'm going down to the, the, the place, I checked it out, the social worker that I that I have confidence in and a rapport with and trust in in the county that, you know, I want the kids to live in. Um, so when I go down there, that's what I'm going to start. You did, but you did not sign a release for that, for that particular That's why I called you right. today. Uh, and now, you get the letter, I'll sign it before we leave. That's, okay, that's but no there's problem. three things that we have asked, and I even told <clears throat> Attorney Varga about it. And I and I think he was going to follow up with an email to you as I to what it was. Um, well, basically. We were looking for um, mental health assessment to see if there's going to be any individual therapy because we understand this is really hard on all families. So you may be also, you know, kind of hurting as well as what's going on with your children. You kind of need someone to talk to, okay? So we're looking for that mental health assessment to possibly even get into some kind of individual counseling for you. Then also kind of assess um, a domestic violence assessment based on the history, the information that we have obtained, okay? And that's part of your specific steps, the order right. steps that the judge gave you. Then there's also the substance abuse assessment as well that we would like for you to actually be involved in. They can evaluate you. They maybe even take uh, some kind of urine sample just to make sure you know that there are no concerns. And that this is, I guess, what we've been asking for quite some time. And I've had no objection, uh, not to cut you off, but... And, and this is not the, the venue to, you know... To no, we're not going to go through Yeah, uh, that's what I'm saying. Uh, so... We're good. We're golden. You know, okay. um, you know. Uh, look, I just want to put the past behind. I want my children here. I spend. Do you know how much time I spent with my children this year? Do the math. Two hours a month. Twenty-four hours. One well, one day. Well, one Ms. day Ms. with Ms. my Ms. children. This is, this is, and I, guess, I, I didn't do that anything. The department has been wanting to do as well. I mean, we like to see our to see our children honestly with their parents. And we try to get that through, but in order to get all of that done, there's specific steps that need to occur. But okay. none of that has occurred with you. Okay. Therefore, if you're willing to actually sign those releases, I'm not sure who the individual you're saying 
um, in North Carolina, but we actually made a recommendation for you of an actual agency. We contacted the CPS agency, the Child Protection Agency down in North Carolina, in your county to verify, hey, if, if you're involved with um, a family and you would like for them to do A, B, and C, where would you send them to in your area? Okay, and I appreciate that, and I'm not cutting you off because I know we all got things to do. <clears throat> place that Migley sent me to and I got a letter from the director saying this is not the resolve that he sent me to and Varga did not do anything he didn't even bring that paper in well, so it's not like I did not make the attempt I have the director's letter and signature do we have a copy of that I <laughs> sent it to my attorney that's why he's well saying. then you, you should you I, I, I will submit you attorney. I will but this is a separate place Because this happened after. Right. Well, now, now we're at today. Uh, let's keep t today. So and definitely, this is um, what is the place called again? Daymark. 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 I, I've spoken to them there, I, and I got a few, just like the, with a doctor. I got a, a so couple. So we would need to get a release sign, and you would also need to sign a release with them, so they can okay, speak well, to us. Well, if you can get it, we'll sign the release. So let's just and and release like I said, with the, the the media thing and everything else, you know, I was interview by Nancy Grace. I do have the media contact. When I said it to Ruth Brown, she rolled my eyes. I don't want my kids in the spotlight. I have my 15 minutes of fame. This is not anything that I wanted or warranted. You know, I didn't facilitate in this at all. The only black mark that I have is the alleged stuff down in, in North Carolina two and a half years ago. Two and a half years ago. I understand. And, 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 and they say I have no respect for Marcy. I've never said anything bad about Marcy. It's in your reports. The thing is, Dominic and ex the kids are excited. The visits are going well. But I don't just, well, well. Now, we all know, just like what you said, we want the families together. Manel told me Monday she filed the temporary, or the uh, termination of parental rights. Mm -hmm. She filed it. There has been nothing as reunification in this, and it's because, and she said in my attorney, I upset and angered a lot of people. We know I did. Well, and, that's, and something, just, again, just, that's something that you can definitely discuss with your attorney. Right. I mean, just, just as a blatant thing, the, my attorney told me that we were not going to, that your office would, would wait 60 days. It would be 60 days before October to file. We mean, file. And then with all this, with the O'Neill and the court. That's thing. not what I remember, but okay. Yeah. I mean, you need to talk to your attorney, to whoever is assigned to you Right. Now. Because then when all this happened, then all visitation rights and everything stops. And then that's the day you file the, you know, it is. I, we we have cannot, to understand we can, that every action has a reaction. To that's it. right. Well, but you know something? You, you, you really need to make sure that um, 
that what you say, you got to be careful what you say. All right. So basically, I have to butter up, make friends with it's DCI. It's not about it's, 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 it's about honestly that the department is taking a stand as to we have your children in our care. There's 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 an underlying reason, and not and not. And that reason and not, had nothing to do with me. No, it didn't have anything to do with you. But therefore, as we continue to try to get everything resolved and more information came in, and with, we finished. Um, the court actually. We ordered, hey, well, you know what? Mom has to do the X, Y, and Z, and father should do X, Y, and Z. And as far as we understand at this moment, you know, and I'm only going to talk about you, you have not been able to actually complete that A, B, and Z. Not through my fault. With my new attorney, I'll, I'll prove it all. Then See, you will need to the, discuss the, that with the, new the, the courtroom, and, and that's why I really wanted to, to, to do it in court, but it was not going to be at Marcy's expense. We have Um, you know, and, and you see it on paper, but you weren't there the first week. Everything was fine until I got, and it's documented, until I got into that argument with Allison. Okay, and that, and that's where I upset and angered a bunch of people. Um, you know, I mean, that's that's what it's all about.